to Miss Caitlin's Neighborhood. I'm so excited to see you today. Are you ready to go on an adventure? Yes, awesome. Look where we are, guess where we are. Let's explore and so much more. Won't you come and join me? Yes, please come and join me. Let's go through the door. Have you been here before? Let's put our mask on. vegetables they have. Look at all the apples. Can we count how many different kinds there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Can we buy a green apple today? What do you think of this one? I think so. that you're holding? It's a piping bag. A piping bag, okay. Wow. Katie, thank you so much for showing us that. What are all of those colorful things behind you? Sure, well, we're just opening up, so I'm getting everything out here that's 
a taffy apple salad. Yes, it tastes just like a taffy apple. It's delicious. Wow. Oh, I love that. Look at all of the wonderful things. So you you help to make a lot of these things? Well, mostly our cooks make them, but I do help sometimes, and I just make sure it all looks nice and clean and everything is fresh. And then so I, you have cooks that are working back there yes. to make these things? Yes. Okay. A lot of work, friends. Yeah, a lot of people working together as a team. So I heard somebody really likes the tuna salad, so I'm going to get you some tuna salad. Tuna salad. Yeah, okay. All right. So each of these has a spoon, and you use that spoon. Yep. Just this spoon is used for the tuna all day For long. that thing. Yeah, okay. And everything has a sign. And I'll oh. tell you a little secret. Oh, on the back of the sign, there's a red number that I have to know. And I use that when I weigh things, because I'll put that number in here. So that's a secret number secret that's on the number. back there that only you can only see. Only I know. And if you see, it says tuna salad. And then I weigh, this is a scale, and it tells me how much it weighs, and that's how much I'm going to... See how it says tuna salad? Oh, and Blue Goose, that's the name of our grocery store. And then I press a button and it prints up a label that says tuna salad. And then you're all set to go. Wow. Your fresh tuna salad for the day. How cool. I would have never known that. Marty, thank you so much. Very welcome. Do you have a um, lunch meat? Yes, we do. We do have lunch meat. We have some best meat. We have turkey and we have ham. Turkey and ham? And roast beef and bologna. Here? We cook that here, and it tastes just like a Thanksgiving turkey, and you can make a sandwich out of it. Wow. Would you like me to slice some meat? For that would be great. I'd love to buy some of that today. What is that machine called that you're using? This is a meat slicer. Okay. It has a really sharp blade, and I have a dial that helps decide how thick the slice that I'm going to make. I'll show you a couple different slices. Most people like the, um, the turkey and the ham sliced for sandwiches. So you can see how, how thin that is. Oh, wow. But then some people want it thicker because they chop it up and put it in a salad. So I'll, I turn my knob. knob that you turn controls how thick yeah, that is. It does. Okay. And then when I'm all done, I close it so that it's safe for me to wipe it down and clean so I don't cut myself. Oh, safety is so important. Yep. Very. Wow. I also have cheese. Would you like some cheese? Oh, yeah, some cheese. Cheese. Okay, great. Friends, look how cool is this? Okay. And I wash my hands all the time and change 
wanted my gloves so that everybody, because I have to touch the food to slice it, but everybody wants that to be clean. So. Right. And you're wearing a mask just like I'm wearing yes. a mask. I wear a mask all day long. Yeah. Do you wear a mask, guys? I bet you do. Wow. It gets, it gets hot sometimes. It does get hot. It's okay. It keeps everyone safe, it right? It keeps everybody safe. So how would you wrap this up? I'd like to buy that. Okay. So what I do is I put that up here and then I use that secret code. That special number. Yep. Okay. And then I press print. And here comes my, here comes the label here right over my here. That just says what I just made. And then I have our jelly bags back here. So you put the sticker on the bag, and the food inside, inside the bag. And then I simply close and I say thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Party, thank you so much. Bye, take care. See you soon. Hi, Tom. Well, hey, Miss Taylor. Thanks, Mal. I'll see you in a second. How are you doing? I'm good. I have my library friend. Hi everybody! Hey, how are you? I was wondering if you might be able to show me behind the scenes at Blue Goose. I would absolutely love to. So, hey everybody, come on! Hi. You can just you can just leave your cart right here. Okay. Nobody will mess with it. So come on back. This is one of our vendors who's making a delivery of food to the store right now, and that is a lot of what happens behind the scenes back here. Whoa. So this is where we do so many things from storing supplies to um come on back and i'll show you so um receiving our goods you can see right now well this is actually pretty exciting we have a couple trucks making deliveries right now you can see we have these two doors where if you look this is actually really cool because if you take a look here you can see the boxes come on and take a look inside kids library friends look so you see that? You can see these boxes where there's all this food coming in. But watch this. So on the other side of this roll door, right. you can see that these are the trucks that you see on the road driving to different stores to deliver products. So right now, this truck is here and the back of it is open and they're going inside to get things for the store. That is absolutely correct. That's how we get food in the supermarket. So it's received in here, um, and our terrific receiver checks everybody's loads in, and then they go and they either store them in the back where our team puts them out, or um, they put them on the shelves themselves. So this is this is you're watching food wow. arrive at a supermarket. Hey Paul, what are these behind you? These clothes right here. Oh well. These are to make sure that everybody's clean because okay. there are plenty of very, um, very physical jobs in the supermarket. We work with our hands a lot. So to make sure that everybody has everything that they need and that they stay clean, um, they wear aprons that have pockets on them. Um, and then we work with another company who washes them for us okay. and brings them here. So you have aprons for grocery, aprons for the deli, you have the smocks for the uh, our meat department and uh, our butchers. Yeah, so there are so many things that happen. And even, you can see, um, towels to make sure that uh, we have enough towels to clean everything up um, that are reusable and washable so we're just not throwing away products. Oh, so many products. That's so cool. Right. And you can see, as you look down this long haul, the, the products that we need to make sure that we have enough. So. We'll have all the food that we need until the next delivery are back in the warehouse portion of the supermarket. So this is all extra in case you run out on the floor. Is that right? No. <laughs> this is this is extra because we'll run out on the floor. Okay. So quite a few of the things that we have before the next time that we get a truck with that product, people are going to want so much that we have to have backup. It's actually we spend a lot of time making sure that we know how much we need. So we'll have just enough by the next time that we have the opportunity to get it delivered. Okay. It actually takes, and I'll tell you what, that takes a lot of math yeah. and uh, a lot of good note taking and um, a lot of just uh, paying attention and you know learning what, uh, how to do it. Of 
smart well, what it means is just we need a lot of smart people to make sure that they've got it under control, and we do. Yeah, awesome. That is so great. All right. We have oh, no. So what you see behind these huge doors, that's our refrigeration. So behind this door are uh, frozen products for our meat department. So we'll have some frozen turkeys in there and some frozen fish and all kinds of the frozen things. Um, that well, we have in our meat department. Yeah. So the turkey that we saw Marty making for us and cutting for us, would that be kept in here until it's ready to be sliced? Oh, no, no. So that turkey comes in fresh and it goes straight out Grocery, into that pool. Park one. Grocery, park one. So that's not for us. <laughs> um, so every department, they will have most of their own items and they'll have their own relationships with people who sell them what they need. So we might have one vendor who some of what they uh, s sell us goes to the meat department and some of what they sell us goes to the deli department. But the things in the deli, they'll get them fresh and then they'll cook them fresh okay. most of the time and then so pull them back down. So that's the deli? Yes, absolutely. Got it. Okay. Because they're cooking over here. Nobody cooks anything in the meat department so it ends up going in two different two places. Two different places. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Come on. Let's go friends. How fun is this? More supplies, and then you get into um, <laughs> half a pallet of hand sanitizer because that's very important right now. Very important. <laughs> um, and then the different aisles that we stock, and you can see back up on um, uh, taco sauce, on juice, on beans, on so all the things that you bought. The number here is that the number of the aisle where it that's goes? That's exactly correct. That's good. Wow, okay. So all of these things are on aisle two. That's exactly correct. Cool. And then a couple times a week, we'll pull everything out, fill to the shelf, and then the next time we get an order or the next time that we plan a promotion, new things come in and fill back here. And then you have the freezer department for our, our grocery. And this is actually something I'm very excited about. This is the area where we fill orders for people who order their food online. So you can go to our website and uh, order what you'd like from the supermarket and we'll actually shop it. We put it in here so we see who it's for and then all of the things that they want, we put them together and then they have a time when they're gonna show up and pick it up. So this is something that's very new um, and it's a lot of fun and it's something we're really proud of. It's working great. This is, uh, this is the fulfillment part of our e-commerce. E-commerce, okay. And so someone would let you know and you would shop for them? Yes, what, absolutely. What they want and you shop and then they come pick it up. And it's, it's so easy, they just go onto our computer site and they will log in like you'd log into any of the big computer sites, Facebook or, or the library to check right. out a book yeah. online. Well, you can go to the supermarket and shop online. And that information will come down to us, um, and it's 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 kind of really exciting. That's it's so very cool. new in the supermarket industry. Paul, that is so neat. Would you find a frozen pizza in here? I'm just curious. <laughs> sure. Is this where you would find frozen pizza? Uh, the ones that are in back stock, but pizzas sell very quickly, so oh, I might not do? have a frozen pizza back here. But <laughs> library friends. I've never seen behind here. This is so cool. I do have organic french fries. Look at that. How cool. Boys and girls, this is so cold. I can feel the cold coming from there. It is so cold. We keep our refrigerator below zero degrees. Everything freezes at 32, but to make sure that everything is without a doubt cold enough so it stays cold from the time that we take it out of here and put it in our freezers, we make sure that it is well below 32 degrees. It's extra cold. Wow. That is so neat to see. I didn't know that. Look at how big this room is. Wow. Thanks for showing us that. Frozen pizzas sell fast. That's something that we learned. Well, here, this is actually one of my uh, favorite parts of the supermarket because this is a lot of the fastest moving things. Come on wow. in. You can take a look in here. This is our dairy cooler. So this is where we keep all of the milk and eggs and milk. cheese. And actually, so with our e-commerce, you can see right here, 
when people buy refrigerated things, there's a spot where those are kept in catalog. We also have one in the uh, uh, in the freezer too. But um, yeah, oh, this. Look at, oh, look at all the eggs. And we buy eggs a few times a week. That's how quickly eggs sell. Wow. Yes. So this, so the the eggs in the dozen are in these boxes. So they would come off of one of those trucks, right? Yeah. And then they would come here in those boxes. And see, it's kind of funny because first you saw the truck, now you see the cooler, now you see the egg. Wow. The next time you your mom makes you an omelet or a scrambled egg, that's realize that every one of those omelets are scrambled eggs. They came in a truck like you just saw, and they came into a deli dairy cooler just like this, waiting for your mom to buy them so she can make you an omelet. This is so cool. This room is cold, boys and girls. <laughs> I was going to say that's, this room is cold. <laughs> that's very true. It is cool. that it's past the date. Yeah. Wow. That's important to do at a grocery store. I didn't know that you did that. Wow. Do you ever help put products out? Yeah. The products that are in the back that we saw? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, that's cool. What kind of cereal do you think I should buy? Um, I like Cheerios. I like Cheerios too. Can you buy some Cheerios next? What do you think? Yeah. All right. It was good to see you today. Have a great day.
check out, friends. We're ready to check out. Hi, me. Hi, there, TV lamp.